And I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah, I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on this shit daily Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these things I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather leave than be led I'll fill the seats as I spread With every word that I've said All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to round six of the BSB Championship on Xbox. <clears throat> I think I sent everybody an invite. Missing a few people, so I'll wait to see. I haven't heard from Trojan today. So hopefully he'll make it. Um, who else are we missing? Polar Zeus. I don't think he's turned up to many of the races, though. And Badger 420. Turned up to round one. I haven't seen him since. Yeah, I tried to get everyone invited before coming onto this screen on the stream. So we've got Griff, Luke, Keefe, Jimbo, Mason, and Lumber, and Stevie. Keefe's here this week, good to see. I didn't think he would be here this week. Uh, 
Uh, I'll give it a minute. I haven't heard from Trojan on the Discord or on Xbox or anything, so... Right. Well, I'll give it a minute. I think I've got everyone else, essentially. Did message Trojan 15, 20 minutes ago. Haven't heard from him yet. Uh, Trojan said he'd be home in about 15 minutes. Sorry, but I cannot wait that long. He's going to have to miss out on the 600 race again, I think. How am I doing, Josh? Uh, yeah, not too bad. Still pissed off about Monday. Uh, it is what it is. Alright, so if Trojan's going to be 15 minutes, we might as well start up. Unfortunately, he'll be missing the race. I would have started it 15 minutes later if I knew that. Yeah, that was some absolute bullshit, Griff. <laughs> Proper. First race I got done over by lag or something. I don't even know what help. I don't even know what made my game freeze. And the second race I got took out by uh, Long Boy Dan. So I was not happy. He ruined all my chances of a win in the thousands there. came from a long way back as well as a very optimistic attempt he could have just gone off the track and totally avoided me aimed exactly where i was going to be in the corner so yeah today we've got 12 laps of alton park for the 600 and 17 for the thousands And it's now in the showdown round as well. So that means we have extra points. Actually, while we're loading. These are the points at the moment for the RM600s. So luckily, Trojan's going to be missing this one again. So he will not score anything. He should be here for the thousands so. though. No, Luke's leading the way at the moment. Alright, I'll make this a bit bigger so I can actually see what's going on on my screen. I don't think I'll be doing another championship on Xbox after this one. As the Xbox is in another room, it's a bit hard to uh, do the stream stuff and do the game. See if I change the setup or something, but it's a lot of work. Right, so everyone's choosing their tyres and that. A few different combinations. Actually, I don't know why I've got my headset on. I can't hear the game through my headset anyway. Mm. 
Alright, everyone's readied up. Stevie's on double softs. No collisions are off for the qualifying round, qualifying session. Oh, Griff got caught out by the. Uh, I don't even know what the corner's called on this track. To be fair, the bumpiest corner ever. Let's go with that. It's an easy one to mess up, though. I think I have it in my head that Luke said this is his home track, so he's probably going to be gunning for this win. Keithy's here again this week, and I don't think he'll make it easy for him. I've raced with Keithy a lot. On previous ride games and that he's always been quick number nickels changed over to the Kawasaki in the hopes that that will help him have the fight to uh, catch up with the front view but after last week I don't think there was much difference I don't think the Kawasaki's that much better, to be honest myself. It is in time trial, but not on race pace. Oh, Mason's going to be saved it. Stevie's got past Mason from his mistake into uh, the bumpiest corner ever. I think Keefe has closed the gap on Luke now. Stevie's just gone down. So Keefe should have the faster lap here. It's going to be hard to switch between the two riders to see their times with such a close gap. I think they're both 32 zeros. So, it's close between the top two. Stevie fell off. I missed everyone else's lap times. Oh, Keefe's gone down. He's set himself a good lap, though. Can't remember what lap times we were setting around here on PC. 31s or 30s. Maybe. Didn't get myself a drink, did I? I'll do that in a minute. Now, as it stands, I think Jimbo is in second. Luke's eight points, I think. And Jimbo could still bring it back.
31.8 from Luke. I think he improved. 32 from Griff, that's a pretty good lap time. So, at the moment I'd say my money's on Luke, but anything could happen in the race. Full gap on everyone. As I saw earlier, Sergio didn't have the fastest laps in, uh, in the race, uh, in the qualifying on PC. He did good in the race. Well, no, the race didn't go well. Oh god. As you can tell I'm getting tired. <laughs> Been busy all day. Thirty two from Loot. Thirty one seven from Lumber Nickel. And that could be the fastest lap so far. I think Lumbernickel might have took pole position here. A big wheelie from Keefe across the line. So oh, Lumbernickel took it by 0 0.1, 0 0.15. Get a picture of that. No. Lumber Nickel put in the lap time that he needed. I think it possibly could be his first pole position. Can he make it work in the race? So there's only 0 0.3 of a second between Keefe, Lumber Nickel, and Luke. be close now the collisions and that will be back on and tire wear so we'll have to see how that goes still think my money could be on Luke Right. Uh, get the lobby set up. Get everyone in their positions. So hard to see it what I'm doing on this screen. Uh key feet. He's already in third. So thirty two four for Griff. And thirty two nine for Stevie. And then Jimbo and Mason. I think that could be the worst qualifier I've seen from Jimbo to be fair so far. But I don't doubt what he could do in the race. Uh, 12 laps. Tire wears on. Collisions are back on. Uh, 
All right, everyone's ready. Get this going. Let's have everyone could choose their tires. Stevie's gone hard, hard. I think that's the way to go. keithy has gone soft, soft. Not sure if he's just chose the wrong way there. Hard, medium. That's, that seems a bit more like it. Who's gone medium hard? Not a combination I see very often on Pride. I'd work well on MotoGP, but not so well on ride, from my experience. Front tyre seems to get very hot in ride, Paul. Keefe's gone hard, hard, and Griff's gone hard, hard. And Jimbo. Couple of different combinations. Everyone's ready. Everyone's got their tyres. Let's get race one underway. Race one of round six. Okay, lumber nickel on pole position. I think his suit's changed. It's got the launch as well. about to say everyone's through safely but Mason's come off unfortunately Keith he's going to be putting the pressure on lumber nickel now and Luke probably be putting the pressure on him If he's going to go for it, I don't know. Thought he was going to go around the outside of him then. Griff's gone down, and so Stevie, I think. Uh, Lumber Nichols holding his own at the moment. I do not know what just happened to uh, Jimbo. Sort of caught the end of it. It looked like a weird crash. keithy has got back up into first now. Or took first, should I say. Going to make Lumber Nickel work for it now. wants to win this one I think he needs to get past Lumbernickel now and try and catch up to Keefe before Keefe gets away with it gap's coming down though Keefe ruined his exit up onto that back straight Mason's gone down again into the chicane
Luke's not really closing the gap yet. I actually thought he'd have to fight, either that or he's just waiting. Can't wait too long in case that gap gets too big between first and second. Not sure if he actually hit him then or not. Looked like it was a slight touch, but the yellow bar for the hit didn't come up, so he may have just avoided him. Slight mistake from Lumbernickel there. Let's just let Luke through. No, I reckon it's going to be pretty even between these two, Keefe and Luke. He's out in front at the moment and he's looking pretty uh, calm. Stevie's gone down and Griff. I think these two have made contact already. I think that is their second crash together. Lumbernickel hasn't been dropped yet. Making the, uh, well, he thinks he can make the Kawasaki work better for him than the MV. Oh, big wheelie from Keefe there. I had that same thing happen to me in the uh, in Dr. Ace's BSB Championship and that made me come off in the thousands. No, it must have been another mistake from Lumbernickel because he's lost another second or so got anything else going on here Jimbo's in a bit of a no man's land can be a bit boring for the rider at this point had it a few times where there's just no one ahead of you, no one behind you. Lose concentration easy like that. Oh, Stevie's in deep. Saved it though, I thought he was coming off the track. I don't know what the gap is, it's only a second and a half between these two. Keefe's pulled away a bit now from uh, Luke. Uh, I think Luke needs to put his head down now and just push. He's riding too calm. Either that or he's been pushing too hard and made mistakes. It's one or the other. There's 
no real battles going on right now, unfortunately. Right, Keefe is doing the business. Luke's lost more time into that chicane. That's TV camera is so quiet compared to the onboard. I think Stevie could be catching up to Jimbo here. I'm sure it was seven seconds a minute ago, it's now at five. Unfortunately, it hasn't gone well for Mason. He lost a lot of time in the first few laps from them pull-offs. He's already 50 seconds behind Keefe, so he will not finish this race by the time the timer has finished, unfortunately. Thirty one seven from Keefe, faster than his qualifying lap. Thirty three four from Jimbo. Thirty three two. Mason's still quite a way off coming across the line. Uh, I really thought Luke would have a bit more fight than this one. keefe has gone down. No. Just as I took the camera away from him as well. Luke's been gifted it for now, but I think Keefe could fight back. He managed to pull the gap on Luke in, a, in the first place. I have to see how this one goes for now. I think it's the only thing we've really got going on other than Griff and Stevie. It's probably the closest gap we have at the moment. If he's gone down again. Oh, he's done, what, seven and a half laps? No mistakes. And in the space of half a lap, well, three quarters of a lap. He's had two fall-offs. That has gifted it to Luke now. Lumber Nick. I, think, I don't know if he let him pass or if he just messed up. So he's... Yeah, 
I don't know, it may have still given him a penalty for that, but I'd say it gave him enough. He gave Keefe enough time to not gain any time or anything. In fact, he was ahead of Keefe, so he lost a second and a half going through there. If he's out wide, let's let Griff through. Lucky to stay on there, to be fair. Mason's come down again. Uh, can Stevie put the fight to Griff? I think Keefe's gone down again. Oh, the last half of this race has not gone well for Keefe. He was looking so good out there. tight from Stevie there. Uh, looks like Griff pulled away a bit. Him and Griff are pretty evenly matched on pace, I think. It'd be tough for him to pull the gap back in. Now Luke has been gifted this one. He has, he's done well either way, but he's definitely been gifted this from Keefe's mistakes. I'm not sure where Keefe went down again because I missed uh, the last ball off. He was a second and a half ahead of Lumber, and then he was behind by quite a bit. He's gotten for his fastest lap now, though. He wants that second place. After all the uh, work he put in at the front. Mason's off the track. I think he, I think he stayed on. He went off into the bumpy corner. I don't know if he'll catch Lumber Nickel now. Two seconds is a big ask in one lap. So what, Griffin? Uh... Stevie catching Jimbo. They're not going to be close enough for a move, but any mistakes from Jimbo, they're going to be right on it. Uh, we'll go across to Luke. Keefe's one second behind Lumber Nickel now. Point four. <laughs> He's going for it. His last time coming out of that uh, corner. So... The winner of the RM600 race here at Alton will be Luke.
Big endo. And a good effort from Lumber Nickel. And I've gone wrong button. And a third place from Keefe. And an unfortunate last half of the race. Jimbo in fourth. Griffin fifth. And something's happened to Stevie. He was right behind him. He's, behind, he's quite far behind him now. He must have had two fall-offs. Maybe three. Worst race for me by far. Yeah, it didn't go well, Griff. You weren't last, though. There's always that. So, it was a good race from the top three. Wasn't too eventful, but it was still a good race. So, Luke will still be on top of the RM600 class. Trojan should be back now, so he should be in for this 1000cc race. I can't remember. I think Tro oh, I can't remember if Trojan's winning the 1000s. I think he is. Stevie said in the Discord, stop knocking me off cave banks by. I have no idea what he's on about. Uh, right. Lobby. RM thousands. Tire wear off, collisions off. Uh, Jimbo's back in. I think he went to change his levers. Trojan. Hopefully, Trojan should be on now. And while we wait for Trojan to join. Yeah, Trojan's winning the RM thousands by one point at the moment. So this race today could be the not the decider, but there could be a change. For the leader of the championship. We won the RM six hundred, sir. Luke did, Matty. Luke Sparky on the uh, RM600s. Keefe was uh, leading it for the first half of the race and then it just all went downhill for Keefe, unfortunately. He did pull a gap on Luke. I don't know what's going on with Trojan. I've invited him.
So, hopefully, we can get some battles going on in the RM thousands. Wasn't many battles going on in the RM six hundreds, but we shall have to see. I'll go to the next screen because if Trojan can still join. I'm going to have to message Trojan on Discord because I've invited him twice now. Let it be home in 15 minutes, uh, 40 minutes ago. Now he's only just pulling in the driveway in five. <laughs> what is going on? I think he's going to have to miss qualifying. Or do we wait five minutes for him? If it's actually going to be five minutes. Uh, is it harder to play on Xbox than on PC? No, it's, it's about the same to be honest. Emo Unicorn. It's um, I don't really think there's much difference. The only difference I notice when I play on Xbox is the controller vibrates more. Because I play on the Xbox controller on xbox and on pc and there's just less vibration on pc but otherwise they're the same A refresh rate maybe um so i don't really notice it because my monitor for my pc is only 60 hertz anyway so i don't really notice the difference because my xbox puts out 60 if not more anyway my pc can run more than 60 hertz I think my game runs at like a 90 or 100 on PC, but my monitor is only 60, so it doesn't really seem any different. I think it depends what console you have. I remember it was very framey. The frame rate was not very good on the Series S. But on my One X, it runs real smooth. Uh, Series S, not One X.
Oh, my neck. So, just waiting on Trojan now. I had to give him five minutes, so I'm going to have to wait five minutes. I'd like to start the championship later to get Trojan in easier, but it's late for everyone else in the championship at that point. I'll grab a drink quick. Be chipping at this rate, Griff. Yeah, I don't blame you. I thought um, Trojan would have been on by now, to be fair. <laughs> he must have got stuck in traffic. Because I remember him saying he'd be home in 15 minutes, nearly 50 minutes ago. It's a good thing we didn't wait for him in the RM600s. But at the expense of five or ten minutes, I can't ruin his shot at winning the thousands. Because he's leading it by one point. Uh, I've got to say, Trojan's got commitment. He rushes home from work to get his races in. Wish didn't have to make him rush so much. <laughs> Oh, well, for anyone who's missed it, where is it? I'll make the screen a bit smaller again. They are the current RM1000 standings. Badger, who's only been in one race, I don't know why he bothered to say he would do this championship. Mason he must have only completed one race. I think everyone on this side, the right side, has only done one race so far in the championship. There hasn't been a great turnout every week. Jimbo would have been up there with the top two as well, points-wise, if he hadn't, uh, I think his game crashed, or, yeah, I think he said his game crashed as it started la, the other week. All right, Trojan's loading up. Whoop, whoop, right. Let's get him invited. I 
everyone's getting impatient. The Christmas lights are out. Right. Roll myself a bag. Because I know it could take a bit of uh, a while to load this game on Xbox for some reason. To be fair, the game actually loads pretty quick. It's the online access thing seems to take forever. If that was as quick as it was on PC, it would load just as fast. Wee, Trojan's in. Right. Let everyone ready up, make sure they're all on the right bikes. Griff's readied up, so that's good. He's he's not fell asleep yet. Waiting on, all right. We're ready. We're ready for qualifying of uh, race two. Trojan is finally here. Still here, just about. Good stuff, Griff. <laughs> I'm knackered today as well. I've been busy all day. I probably won't be falling asleep anytime soon because I can't make myself go to sleep like that, but... Should have probably put it on like six laps just to get Trojan warmed up a bit. Hasn't really had a chance to play. All right, everyone's readied up. Everyone's got their tyres they want for the qualifying. that mason that v4r it just bombs off the line it's been doing my head in in the bsb championship on pc <laughs> we've discussed uh, we've decided any future championships there will be no panigale v4r even if it's slower people on it to help them speed up there's a lot of crashes going on. The problem is it just gets that launch and then you've got slow, uh, someone slowing your way. Slows you down, then causes accidents behind you because everyone's hitting you. So from now on, in championships there will be no V4R. Now, Mason had a good qualifying last week at Cadwell on the uh, 
Panagali. See what he can do this week on the Panagali. Trojan's gone down. Still warming the hands up, I should think. Keefe and Stevie with their matching levers. Ooh, Mason's keeping calm. He didn't get a very good exit there, though. tired. Yeah, kind of. So Stevie's had a mistake because I'm sure he was pretty close to Griff. Thirty one one from Griff. 32 3 from Lumber Nickel. Near enough, missed everyone else's lap times. And Trojan must have had an off on that lap as well. Griff's tired, he's going to be wanting to get this one done as fast as possible. Yep, by half a second. Seven now, so it should be into the thirties. Maybe even twenty nines, depending on how well he done that part last time. Thirty point one. Thirty point seven, thirty point four. So a few of them into the thirties now. Oh Stevie's lost the rear. Miss Mason's lap time went the wrong way. Thirty seven from Trojan again. He must have had a mistake. Which I missed. for wobbling there. I had that happen to me a few times in the RM1000 race here. Into that corner exactly the same on the same bike. So it must have been after this where he made his mistake. Griff's made a mistake because 
Jimbo's made a mistake. He was right behind him a minute ago. 29-9 from Luke. It's the first 29 I've seen. Thirty-two from Mason. It's not too bad. Thirty point three for Trojan. That was a bit more like his pace. Unfortunately, I don't think Keith. No, Keith is going to finish this lap. We have it. Luke's the only person into the 29s. After that, we have a couple of people into the 30s. Took a few laps for uh, Trojan to get warmed up. Hopefully, that was enough laps for him. No, he's got a lot of laps to get warmed up now. All right, so Luke on pole. And here we got Griffin second. He's already in the right spot. And then Trojan. And Jimbo. Right. No 31s, 32, 3, 32, 5. So that's Lumber Nickel, then Mason. Keefe and Stevie, not great qualifying for them. I know Keefe's got a lot more in it than that. Didn't quite get managed to string a lap together by the looks of it. All right, so that's everyone in their spots. I'm just waiting on, uh... there we go, I say we're waiting on the Trojan and Lumbernickel to ready up, they're readied up, and ready to get race two underway. Right. Now we're just waiting on everyone to choose their tyres. 
Uh, Luke's hard hard. Griff's on hard hard. Stevie and Keithy are both on double hards. There's Jimbo. It's definitely the way to go. I think you can make the medium rear work, but... I think it's a bit of a risk. Trojan's double hards. Will Lumber Nickel and Mason be doing the same thing? Or will they be going for that medium rear? And Mason has stuck to the medium rear. So is Lumbernickel. Alright. So everyone's on double hards except for Lumbernickel and Mason. Luke's on pole position. Can he make it double victory today? At his home track. I think it's his home track anyway. Didn't quite get the launch he wanted. Oh, he's been sent into the gravel. That looked a bit laggy on my screen. Stevie's gone down. Uh, Luke could still bring this back. Griff round the outside of Jimbo. Jimbo and Trojan both didn't quite make the uh, the chicane. Trojan's gone ghost. Not sure what's happened. Maybe his controllers have died. Maybe his controllers died. I don't know. It's not ghost anymore, though. That was odd. No, so Griff's out in front. I don't think Griff's won a race yet. No, he wants. He probably wants that first win. Got a lot of laps left to go, though. Stevie's gone down again. Not sure if Keithy already had a penalty. May have got one from cutting that. He fell off just before it. No, Jimbo is not letting Griff go on this one. He's not going to let him just have it. Keefe's gone down again. He had a fantastic first half for the 600s race. It's all kind of gone downhill since that. Griff's gone down. No. I don't know any actual sort of battles going on right now. I 
Oh, Jim, I'm getting a wobble on there. Luke has closed the gap big time now. I think Lumber Nickel lost the rear. Didn't really see what happened, but it looked like he lost the rear in the background. Luke could just, well, it depends what his pace is like. He could either sit behind Jimbo for a bit. Got a lot of laps left, he doesn't have to go for anything yet. trojan has gone down. Well, he's trying to get out of the way. Number nickel. Didn't want to go through there. Oh, Luke's right on the back of Jimbo now. Or was. I think Lumber nickel went down and then Trojan went down. Because he was behind him, and now there's uh, some confusing stuff going on to here today. I didn't see Lumber Nickel go down again. Thirty point seven from Jimbo, about the same as his qualifying pace. Keefe's gone down again. It's not going well for some riders here. So you keep seeing a lot of yellow. I don't know if people are having connection issues or... Just clip the rear of uh, Jimbo. Lumber Nickel and uh, Heafy are having a bit of a battle. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> as long as they don't get in the way of everyone else, it doesn't really matter. That's what they're happy to do. Griff's not out of this one yet. I think he is catching him up. No, Lumber Nickel, Stevie and Keefe are all just doing wheelies and endos at this point. We're only five laps into a 17 lap race. They've given up pretty much, not even halfway into this one.
Are they going to get in the way? I really hope they don't. Uh, they've left. No, something's up there. I don't know what. Not entirely sure what's happened there. Trojan's not having the race. I was hoping he would. I think it's hard when you haven't been able to get the practice in before the race, though. Mistake from Mason there. Oh, Jim, uh, Luke's getting a bit of a wobble on. Oh no, I was about to say Griff's right on the back of him, but he's messed up. It seems like every time anyone gets near anybody, they make a mistake. Had the, that happened earlier in, on the PC League as well. Adrenaline Racing League, whatever it's called. Jimbo made a mistake or has he just let him catch up? Missed what happened there. It's been a weird race. So far. Trojan's trying to get through on Mason on that V4R. It'd be slightly frustrating for Trojan because that V4R is annoying to get past in certain parts of the track. He's through though. Down to five riders again. Himself a lot of time there. I'm not entirely sure what's happened. No, that's what. Now we see him go off track. I don't know if he's lost any time since then. real battle we have at the moment is Luke and Jimbo.
Jimbo's gone down. After leading the race for so long. It's a repeat of earlier. Luke's been gifted the first spot. He was fighting for it. And then lost touch. Double Kawasaki's could be a Kawasaki one two. I don't think Trojan's going to make up any spots now. Oh, definitely not. He's here and he's going to get points as long as he stays in the race. Oh, not a curve you want to be hitting that one. Was coming off again then. That was close. I think Jimbo's quite close enough. We well, can just about see Griff in the distance. Could be enough to make him want to push to catch. Uh, everyone's very spaced out now, pretty much. It's a pretty uh, uneventful race, unfortunately. Had a bit of a battle going on between Luke and Jimbo for a while, but... It's all got separated now.
not saying much anymore because I just haven't really got a lot to say. It's just too spaced out. Persian's not had the race I thought he would, but then, like I say, he didn't really get any chance to have any sort of practice before this. Straight in from work and jumped straight on. Mason's not having quite the race he wanted. He didn't have a bad qualifying. There's still about 2.4, oh, 2.3 now. Trojan's gone down. It's gone into ghost mode. Pretty much uh, given up. I'm not sure if Griff's had a second place yet. Could be wrong, but I don't think he has. He'll be looking for his first podium. Listen, I think he might have had third at one point. Can't really remember. My, my memory is terrible. Uh, the gap's come down to two seconds. Uh, Luke's doing the work today. A real unlucky first lap. But he has managed to uh, put his head down, catch everyone back up. Griff's gone down. He's lost his second place. With two laps to go. Or two and a half. I think that could be his second place gone. Unless Jimbo makes another mistake. But Jimbo's not normally one to make mistakes. Ugh. And the Trojan's back out of ghost mode. If his batteries are like dying or something. Oh, I don't think Mason stopped for the uh, chicane. Tried to give it plenty of time though. Make sure he didn't get too much of a penalty or anything. So he got no penalty. Only him and Luke. Only Mason and Luke are the only people without a penalty so far. Out of our total of five riders left in here. So, Luke's now coming round to start his last lap. Good 
gap between Griff and Jimbo is about a second and a half. Have to keep an eye on that. Was in a bit too tight on that one. Managed to save it though. Didn't get a penalty either. Ooh. Luke gives us a big old wheelie across the line. Good performance from Luke today. Got unlucky in lap one, but just throwing his bike across the line. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're going to have to have five people finish the race. Trojan set the fastest lap of the race, though. Just couldn't keep it consistent. So, GG to Luke. He's won both races today. And lucky race for Trojan. And I'm not sure what happened with uh, Lumber Nickel, Keefe, and Stevie. All that fuss over changing bikes and they all left. Yeah, I don't think he changed bikes for the uh, thousands. He only changed uh, the bike for the 600s. He changed over to the Kawasaki from the MV Augusta. There's a bit of a killer that we're down to five riders at the end of that. And you all wonder why I don't know if I want to do another championship on Xbox. Either people don't turn up or they quit. Obviously there's a few of you that don't. That have been here every week. Or at least when you can. But... Yeah, seems to be hard work to get a championship going for Xbox. I'm playing it's been a nightmare. I haven't minded it too much. It's just, yeah, obviously a lot of people leave, or they just don't tell you that they're not turning up. Don't really get any of that on PC. Everyone will tell you like a day ahead in advance they're not turning up. Well, they won't leave the races. It seems like a whole different community on Xbox compared to PC. But, oh uh, well, shit happens. I've tried. I've tried to make something for the xbox lot oh, there. but gg griff you almost had your second place you got a bit unlucky there two and a half laps to go yeah right we call it a night there and then uh, next week it'll be Donington Park National, so the short version of Donington. 
Hopefully we can get a few people in. Yeah. All right. Have a good night and ciao for now.